Hello everyone and welcome back to Antique and Garden Showcase. Sorry about the absence on Saturday. It was just one of those weekends where all the things aligned perfectly to get things done. We had just been through a week of temperatures that hit 98, 99, plus the heat index brought the temperature up to about 110. When you walked out the front door, it felt like opening an oven door and then it was like the humidity and the steam just hit you in the face, just like having a wet towel wrapped around you. So it was really horrible heat warning days. And there were days where you just couldn't do anything. And watering was a daily thing. I would do it either early, early in the morning or late at night, nothing during the day, unless it, the drip system was running and doing a mid afternoon kind of cool down sort of thing on the plants. So that was uh, something I kind of put in place too for those hot days. But this weekend, we went from those 110 degree heat wave days to 75 degrees and no humidity. And it was like perfect, it was absolutely perfect. So all those last minute little things that I wanted to do around here that have been piling up, it was an opportunity to just take it and run with it. So that's kind of what I had to do. And I'm gonna show you one of those projects today. This video may be short, but you know, Saturday, hopefully I'll have a little bit more. So let's take a look at one of the projects that I worked on. One major area of renovation has been done and that was this area along the back of the kitchen garden fence. And I was sitting here thinking it's been 20 years since we put in the garden room in the back on the lower portion down here and probably about 18 years on this garden. So everything along the back had been here for a good 18 years and had not been divided and changed or whatever. So I moved a lot of things. A lot of things are not looking the best right now. So I'm not gonna really take you down through there. I've been trying to water every night. Uh, we divided things out and kind of simplified this whole thing a little bit better. I left the end open down here. I'm thinking about maybe doing some reconfiguring on this lower end. Let's walk down. I'll just don't look too hard because things are kind of tied up like the peonies here. This one looks a little ill, but it's still being watered. It's going to be fine. Um, this batch has decided to fall over today. They'll still be fine, but this lower end I'm going to maybe reconfigure and do some different things here. So I left at least two panels open there. I've got some ideas in mind to change some things around there, but um, that'll be future things, future things to look at. And then I'm still, once it cools down again, because we're back in another heat wave today, I'm going to put the strawberry beds back in this area. I've got two two by four uh, raised beds from Gardener's Supply that I'm gonna put in this area and move the strawberries down here. That's the first of two projects that I worked on this weekend. The second project was the kitchen garden walkway. And this has been an ongoing project for a couple of years. Last year, I put in that railing and redid this little section right here. Originally, this was all done with wood, which was a really bad idea because the wood has, it tends to rot on the bottom. It tends to shift sideways. It can't hold the weight of the brick. So, we're putting this in with reinforced concrete beams that are going in here. They're being poured and doing a colored concrete in there as well. So this was a huge undertaking this weekend. It required moving somewhere between 80 and 100 bricks out of just this one area, putting in concrete forms, mixing, pouring, putting in reinforcements. And uh, I put a rebar, there's six pieces of rebar put into the ground and it's actually... Uh, put in there with um, quick set concrete um, that was drilled down into the ground to give that a little bit more reinforcement. And I'll show you some pictures of uh, kind of the before and where we're at right now. But this form right now is drying. As you can see, it's starting to pull apart. So once this starts to kind of pull apart down here on this end, it will be ready to take off. And then I can relay the bricks, which I'm going to put some uh, new sand in here, level this out. It does have a natural slope away from the house and then uh, relay all those bricks that have been washed. 
And as you can see here on the driveway, here are the bricks that were pressure washed. They've been laying out in the sun to dry. There's just a few of them down through here <laughs> in double layers all the way down through there. That's the bricks from the kitchen garden. And you're like, well, why in the world didn't you just wash them back there? Well, they're all being relayed. So it was a perfect opportunity. They were gonna have to be taken up and moved anyway. So we took them all up, brought them out here, laid them all out on the driveway, gave them a nice good pressure wash and clean up. And then once that uh, form dries in the back, then I can take all of these back there and put them back in place. I have just a small job ahead of me, just a tiny one. <laughs> but while I'm out here, let's look at these. I love these Snapdragons. These are so pretty. These are the Madam Butterfly Bronze, and they're really making the Burmese sunset look come out in the uh, driveway island here. So still waiting on the cannas to come through. I've got, uh, there's a white yeah, there's a white Madam Butterfly, too, that's just started to bloom in there as well. So, hydrangea is looking pretty back there as well, too. But this area has taken off really nicely just all of a sudden. But we are in that having to water every single night mode on the areas that aren't on drip. And this is not an area that's on drip system. Thank you all so much for watching Antique and Garden Showcase today. I look forward to seeing you back on the weekend on Saturday. I do release videos on Wednesday and Saturday mornings at 7 a.m. unless otherwise noted, and I put that in the community tab on Antique and Garden Showcase's page. Glad to have you here. If you'd like to uh, be around for more content when it comes out, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you'll get notifications whenever those do come out. Be sure to like the videos and leave me comments or questions. I'd like to do another Q&A as well. So always like reading your comments and questions. Have a great week and I'll see you soon on the weekend. Bye.